Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Thanks for Push and Play, reporting from YouTube's television studio. I'm Melanie Carmichael. This week is dedicated to Valentine's Day here at YouTube. A holiday established nearly seven centuries ago and still going strong. A special time of the year devoted to showing your friends, families, and loved ones how much you truly care. A great way to do this is with a rose. That's right, roses aren't just for your boyfriend, girlfriend, or spouse, but can be for any person in your life. You just have to figure out which color rose fits you best. Pink roses represent appreciation, admiration, and happiness. Yellow roses embody joy, friendship, and promises of a new beginning. Yellow roses with a red tip, however, signify the feeling of falling in love. Peach roses embody the message of, hey, let's get together. Red roses represent love, respect, and the message, I love you. And last but not least, a deep burgundy rose signify beauty. As you can see, you can find the perfect color roses for any person in your life. But roses aren't just one idea to show those special people in your life how much you care. For more information on different color roses, check out NewTube's Facebook page for a link. We went around campus here at Newman University to find out what students thought would be the perfect Valentine's Day gift. Check it out. My idea of Valentine's Day gift is a simple dozen red roses. My idea for Valentine's Day would have to be chocolate. Because even if you're not into someone that much, everyone loves chocolate. <laughs> My ideal Valentine's Day gift for a girl to give to me would be her to take me to see the Valley. Perfect gift would be an Xbox 360. Uh, I, don't want to, I don't want a girl to spend any money on me, so all I want for Valentine's Day is a hug. My ideal Valentine's Day present would have to be a hand to hold. Those were some great gift ideas. And I have to say, sometimes Giving or receiving something homemade makes Valentine's Day that much more special. So stop by the Schmidt Room on February 13, 2012 and make your homemade Valentine's Day card. Whether you decide to celebrate Valentine's Day on the 14th or the upcoming weekend, I wish you a happy Valentine's Day and hope that Cupid doesn't hit you too hard. I'm Melanie Carmichael for New Tube. Stay Franciscan, Newman.